Get knowledge. The game, we're changing the country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, come on, Jeff. I don't want to interrupt y'all right interview. I'm going to uh, listen. <laughs> changing the game. Yeah. Changing the game. You know, the real fighters here now, you feel Yeah. The real women fighters. You know yeah. Well, did you, like, as when, and actually, this is for all of y'all. Like, when, when y'all were coming up, when you were kids, like, did you focus, like, were you paying attention to women's boxing at the time, or were you just focusing more on male boxers? Like, like what Like what did you look up to? I looked up to, no, I, I never looked up to, to, uh, to a woman fighter, ever. Mm -hmm. I, nah. I was like, you know, like, even, like, when, during the Christy Martin times and Mia no. St. John, Lucia Riker, all them? Lucia Riker is the one I give the most respect to as far as the skill. Mm -hmm. You know, I like Layla Ali, you know, she's the most known. But, uh, no, I, I looked up to Floyd, Andre Ward. Um, I looked at, at the male fighters. I never looked at, I looked up to, to, to some of the amateurs too. Like, I literally, like, I would study Shakur fights and be like, man, look at this. Like, how he move and all that stuff. Like, I look at that. I never looked at a female fighter. And I, I'm the best female fighter that I've ever seen. I looked up all these girls. You know, I, I was I was comparing myself to Layla Ali when I was 13. Mm -hmm. And I was telling myself when I was 13, I could beat her. You know, mm. I, was, I was 135 pounds. And, you know, and then it, it's crazy because I fought at 165 for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that she fought at 168 in the pros. I thought she fought at 75, but she fought at 68. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all these, all these things just kind of happen, but no, I've never seen a female boxer box better than me. You know, mm -hmm. I love you guys. You guys box <laughs> great. I love y'all. <laughs> he's, my, he's my baby's right here, but you know, but we yeah. all got our different styles, but I mean, as far as in like what I what I like to see, mm -hmm. I've, I've never seen another girl, you know, do it. I, I hope I'm y'all favorite female fighter. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right. Is that the same for y'all? Like, did, like did, did you guys look up to any female I, fighters? I started or? boxing in college. I started late. Mm -hmm. I was, yeah, I didn't even watch or step into a boxing room until I was 22. Wow. I'm so, 22 right now. It's crazy. You know what? No one needs to know. No one needs to know how I'm right now. Way too much, too. But, but yeah, so, yeah, I yeah. never looked up because I was, I was into track and field, so, mm. and then I got to start in boxing, but yeah. Wow. Actually, I get that a lot, actually. Like, almost every female boxer I talk to, they're like, nah, nah. I looked up to like male boxers. I mean, I, I looked at Ann Wolf, you know, for that one big knockout she had against Vonda Ward. That's, Ooh, yeah, that you was know, ugly. but I'm, I'm trying to get a knockout like that, though. I just like, I haven't tapped <laughs> You want I that highlight tapped, reel? I haven't tapped into my knockout power yet. You know, I feel like <laughs> I'm still like learning. Like, I've, I've never knocked anybody out. Like, I got some TKOs and the pros, but I'm never like, boom, sleep. I dream about it, but mm -hmm. I, I don't think I can do it. Utilize it in the pros. Yeah, I guess so. Power, I, I'm, yeah, yeah. We changed so much stuff up in camp, and mm -hmm. now I'm looking at Earl Spence, and they want me to slow down my pace some more, and I've already slowed it down. But I'm just mm -hmm. like, I like throwing combinations. I like, you know, but it's like, you know, actually aiming it, and mm -hmm. it's some stuff that I never thought about. I never had to worry about in the amateurs, because I can always outpoint girls, and I can hurt them, too. You know, I was, I was hurting girls in the amateurs, you know. Mm -hmm. Snapping a couple necks, all that stuff. I was, I was doing that. <laughs> but it's like in the pros, you know, these girls, like, got 17, 18 fights, and they have, like, some great survival tactics. Like, it's weird. Like, you can hit them whenever you want, but then they're, like, ducking, and they're holding you, and they're just like, dang, I thought this That's person. Years of experience, too. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I, like, I thought that Tori Nelson was going to try to, you know, mm -hmm. out, I thought she was going to she was gonna try to outgun me. And I was like, please try it. Mm -hmm. Please. You know, just like she didn't try it. She just was like, I'm going to let her jab. I'm going to let her use her right hand. I'm going to get hit with a few uppercuts. And mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get her on the ropes. And when I watched the fight and her, and her coach said, like, the third, fourth round, he like, make it a fight. <laughs> you just letting her do whatever she wants. So it was like, there was no game plan. It was basically just like, go out there and... Mm -hmm. Fighter. Yeah. I don't know why, like, pressure supposed to scare. Pressure don't scare real fighters. Like, bring me that. Come on, let's that go. actually makes me better. Mm. Right. I like when a right. girl thinks she's going to fight me. I'm like, I'm going to show you what, I'm going to show you what it's really like. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I know. You